Greetings everyone and welcome back to Star Trek Online. I'm here on my Gorn Engineer on my free to play account and if you're not familiar with this series or what the rules of this challenge are, I'm going to start putting them in the text box in the description so you can go down there and check that out if you want to. Well, this week has not been a great week, unfortunately, because uh, I was sick. There was some uh, illness run through the house this week. It happens. And so I only got to play a couple of days. And you may have seen or heard that they're changing the Admiralty system, and that definitely affects this series quite a bit because we've been using the Admiralty system to get the dilithium we need to get our build built up. And... It takes a lot of dilithium to upgrade gear and unlock trade slots and get SROs and all that kind of stuff just takes a lot of dilithium. So what are we going to do? Is this series invalidated? Has all the work we've done been invalidated? Are we going to continue on? If we do continue on, what kind of changes are we going to make? What's the best way to proceed forward from here? Well, let's talk about it. Um, if you're not familiar with the changes, I don't want to dwell on it because I don't want that to take up a lot of this video. But basically, completing Klingon Tour of Duty and Ferengi Tour of Duty no longer gives you 30,000 unrefined dill anymore. The Klingon one gives you fleet dilithium vouchers, which as far as I know are character bound and they are worthless. There's no point in doing that on an alt. I will still do the Klingon one on this character because I can give those to my fleet. So I'm still going to do the Klingon one on this character. The Ferengi one is still worth doing even on the alts because it gives you 30,000 bonus. You can see it up here in the corner. Uh, bonus dilithium ore from dilithium ore boost. So you get this boost for 30,000 dill and it basically gives you half as much as you would earn. So if you were going to get a um, 1,000 dill, it will give you an extra 500. It gives you 50% extra. And so you still get 30,000 dill, so it's still worth doing. It's just that you have to find another way to get dill. So in order to get that 30,000 dill, you have to find a way to earn 60,000 dill on top of that in order to get it. So that's a bit tricky, but you still will get it eventually. It's still free dill, so I think it is still worth doing. So on the alt, going to continue on with that. How do we get dill uh, in other ways? Well, I got some ideas for that. Uh, contraband. You turn in contraband, five contraband every day, you get 2,000. Uh, if you have the bonus up, then of course you get an extra thousand. I'm assuming it works on contraband turn-ins. I haven't tried it yet. That'd be three thousand a day. How do you get contraband? Well, the way I had been doing it is just to come in here. You go to your duty officers, you go to personnel, and sometimes there's a mission called confiscate contraband from crew. That's available for Federation, KDF, Romulan, whatever. If you're KDF or KDF aligned, however, my main account is not, so this is not an option. If you're a Fed player, it's not an option for my Fed account. But you can create KDF aligned characters. There is no such thing as a Fed account. I've divided it up that way. I have my main account. It's all Fed characters, and this account's all KDF characters. But you can have a mix on the same account. So if you're looking to create alts to do any kind of dilithium stuff, make sure they're KDF from now on. Um, and you can go to department heads, and then there's uh, several sector blocks. I'll show them to you, and I'm going to put a map in the description. Uh, or a link to a Reddit thread that has the map that kind of shows you the route that you want to take to get these missions. Go to uh, First Officer, and you can get um, marauding missions. And actually, there's some available right now because we're in one of those sector blocks. So you can see Disable Ferengi Trader, Disable Human Freighter. So we're going to go ahead and queue those up. And uh, I guess I'm doing a little mini tutorial now. And you can do other ones like in the tactical section. You might be able to find some. Uh, in here, I'm not seeing any in here, or sometimes in operations you can uh, put uh, colonists down or whatever and you can get some that way. And it looks like we have a bunch in progress here and uh, I don't have any completed at the moment, but you can get a bunch of contraband that way. So let's take a look at the map and see, and again I'm going to link this in the description. You start in the Quono sector, because sector, it should be a KDF aligned character, otherwise you can't get these duty officer missions. You check this one. Again, doing the first officer, the tactical, and the operations. Then you come over to the Arcanus sector. Then you come up to the uh, Zerantine, I guess is how you pronounce it, sector. Up to Japori. And then over to the Celeste. 
and that's where we're at right now. And if you check all those in each of these sectors, you can queue up a bunch of DOF missions, which can give you a whole bunch of uh, contraband. You don't need to get that much. You just need to get five. So you can queue up like 15 of these things. As long as you get five contraband out of it, that's enough. Then you just transwarp back to Quonos, turn it into the security officer. As long as you have the Ferengi boost up because you're still doing your Ferengi Admiralty, you'll get 3k from that. Other ways to get Dilithium. You can still get them from the Admiralty system. You just have to do it in a little bit of a different way. So the Klingon one is still not bad for this. Uh, because there, a lot of these missions will just give you dilithium as a reward. If you get criticals, it'll give you bonuses uh, and things like that. So, and plus, you're getting the Ferengi bonus pool on top of that. So you can. It's going to have to be a nickel and dime, you know, death by a thousand paper cuts solution at this point. That's what I'm going to have to transition to. I will do a proper video on this once I figure out what is optimal. Right now, I'm still experimenting, so I'm telling you about it because it affects this series, this free-to-play series, and what I'm doing right now, the immediate adjustments that I'm making, but I'm not going to make a full video as a general guide until I'm sure that I have this process optimized. Of course, then Cryptic will just nerf it and take away all these contraband missions or whatever. Uh, they seem to be on a crusade to take everything away from the players, so I don't know. But... Uh, Another thing is the uh, lore missions at the Academy. So these um, Jim Hadar alts don't have a lot of duty officers. So if you can get ahead, maybe you have 10 contraband. The next day, don't go out and do it. You know, go to the Academy. You can get the missions there to give you three free duty officers. So you can build up your duty officer ranks that way. Once your roster fills up, you can start cashing them in to upgrade them to higher quality ones. If you don't know how to do that, I don't have time to do a tutorial on it now, but if you go to uh, the Starfleet Academy or the um, Klingon Academy, there's places to do that stuff. You can get some dilithium that way. Another way to get dilithium is from um, Crystalline Catastrophe Advanced, or CCA for short. It's a very short queue. It doesn't take long to do. There's 10 people. Um, it, it's almost impossible to fail. You get a, because it's a 10 person queue, you get a big lump sum of dilithium. I think you get like a thousand almost. Plus, you can get Nukara marks. It gives Nukara marks. And the important thing about that is most of the uh, two of the three Jim Hadar careers have tier five Nukara. So you can do it on those careers. Uh, this, may, this does change things a bit in my dilithium farming guide video. I said it didn't matter what career you choose. I think that's going to be different now. I think um, you want it to be KDF, and you're going to want it to be one of those careers. I'll put that in the description because I can't remember it off the top of my head which two it is. They'll have Nukara maxed out. And if you're not Tier 5, you can't trade in marks for Dilithium. So maybe if you have the other careers, if you have them all on the wrong career, just do the daily. Uh, you still get 340 instead of 500. You do the 30 marks. And then eventually you'll get to Tier 5 because it'll be sponsored. You'll get a big chunk then, and then you'll be able to turn it in. So if you Jim Hadar Alt is already at Tier 5, just trade in the marks for the Dilithium. If they're not, just do the daily, maybe the hourlies, whatever you want to do. You'll still get some Dilithium that way, and you'll work towards getting to Tier 5 where you'll get a big lump sum of Dilithium anyway. So that's my idea is just to sum this up in this sort of mini uh, video in a video. Uh, doing duty officer missions to get contraband to turn in. Uh, still doing the Ferengi for the bonus pool. Doing the Klingon one, but specifically targeting the missions that give Dilithium as a reward in themselves and not focusing on the tour of uh, the duty anymore. Doing CCA or possibly the Academy lore missions. So that's what I have now as an initial idea might change in the future I'll keep you guys updated that's what I'm doing for the time being though all of the alts on this free to play account have already done that sort of loop on the map in order to get um, contraband missions queued up so that is my current strategy right now okay we spent a lot of time on the intro but to be honest there's not a lot else to talk about let's go ahead and go into the next section Okay, well, we're here in the progress report, and because I didn't get to play much this week, the progress report is thin on the ground, so we're just going to zip through it real quick here. Endeavors, I'm up to Endeavor rank 21, but I had, I think, four different points that only gave ground traits. Uh, so 
Or maybe maybe it was less than that. I don't remember. But um, why is it not showing my ground points? Uh, three. It was three. I got three different ones that only gave ground points. So not making a lot of progress on the space stuff because I got stuck with ground points three different times. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. If we come to my character here, uh, in terms of skills, I've gotten a few more uh, points. Of course, I'm working on the Miracle Worker Tree. Uh, I've, I've gotten down to um, eight points so far. I'm trying to get the trait unlocked, so just slowly working on that. Space traits, nothing has changed here. This is all identical from last time. Nothing has changed in terms of stations. Um, reputations, nothing has changed here either. Uh, I wasn't able to get these up to tier 5 like I thought because I wasn't able to play as many days this week as I wanted to, but we're definitely going to be able to do that next week. We do have some dilithium, though. We did get some dilithium this week. We are going to do Phoenix boxes in the next section and do some more upgrades, but for now, that's it. There is one other thing I want to talk about here. I got a message from someone. I hope they don't mind me reading it off in the video. It says, Gauss, I hope enjoy your informative and entertaining videos on YouTube. I just finished viewing your latest with the Kittimer Alliance Battlecruiser. I've forgotten the specific stipulations of your free-to-play gear, but I hope you accept this as my gesture of thanks. And uh, in the last week's video, I mentioned that I wanted to get Let It Go 1, but I didn't have the credits for it because they're kind of pricey on the exchange, like 5 million energy credits. And this person very nicely sent it to me. So I am going to accept this gift, and I will use it. And uh, when we get to the ISA later in the video, I will have it equipped. I'm going to go get it off uh, from the mailbox off camera and set that up. So I want to say thank you very much to that person uh, whose name here, uh, well, I don't know how to pronounce that, Exiled Hermit. So thank you very much, Exiled Hermit, for that. But I will ask that uh, people not send me anything else because I feel that... Uh, the spirit of this series, although we're already going off the rails with the Admiralty change, is that uh, I, you know, I want this to be free to play, and I want it to be under my own merit uh, putting in the work. So I would ask that people not send anything else. But one bridge officer power isn't the end of the world, and uh, so I will accept this and use it. So thank you very much for that. Okay, let's get into the next section so we can upgrade some gear. Okay, here we are in strategy and tactics, and really the only thing is that we're going to do some more Phoenix boxes, so let's go ahead and do it. We have enough to get 20, and that will bring us up to our 120th box opened. Uh, we've already opened 100 on this uh, series, so let's go ahead and open some more. And we have not gotten an ultra rare or an epic yet, but who knows, maybe we'll get lucky today. You never know. You just never know. Although I do feel like they changed the drop chances. Like I feel like when the Phoenix boxes were newer, the chances of getting those better uh, tokens was actually higher than it is now. Conspiracy, maybe, I don't know, but it just feels like it used to be like a lockbox, you know, one in a hundred or one in two hundred. Now I feel like it's one in five hundred. But maybe it was always like that, I don't know. So let's go ahead and cash these in here. And we're going to get 30, and that should be enough to epic out one more weapon. So let's go ahead and do that. I think we started. Uh, we had nearly gotten this one up before, but I don't want I want to work on a weapon instead. So let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully it won't take too many upgrades. Oh, we got a, we got a rarity upgrade right away, so... Come on. Oh, no, we ran out. We didn't get there at 14%. But we did get a rarity upgrade, though. We did get it up to ultra rare. So don't like this uh, mod on here. So let's go ahead and re-engineer that. Bam, crit D, first try. Uh, so that's pretty good. Okay, so now we have a fourth crit D modifier on there. Well, that's about all I can say for strategy and tactics. So let's go ahead and get into the ISA, and I'll see you guys there in a moment. Okay, here we are in the ISA, and uh, got the combat log up. I tend to forget that. I have let it go on my bar, so we're going to be able to use that. Only got about 10 seconds left here, so hopefully we'll have a good run this time. But if we don't, it's okay. Uh, still mostly just 
having fun and, and messing around for the time being. Um, go. Go, ship, go. through there but hopefully before our uh, warp core explosion blows us up that wouldn't be good Finally going down here. Hopefully the probe doesn't come over to kill anything, but uh, get a placate in there. Uh oh. Come on. Alright, looking pretty good here. Let's get moving over to the other side. Someone in here has that new trait from the uh, the cross field. That's nice. Let's go ahead and make sure we get these generators. Well, I'm worried that a probe is going to make it, but uh, hopefully the other guys are taking care of that. Got a juggernaut in here as well. A uh, lot of money. <laughs> it's a lot of money flying around in this uh, ISA. We got someone with the anniversary bundle, and we have someone that we know for sure has a juggernaut. So that's pretty crazy, actually. Well, let's see if we can get fleet support. Yes. Very nice. Oh, why is Jevonite on the bar, or uh, Deuterium? That's not good. I wonder it was never available when I needed it. <laughs> Keep forgetting to use um, Brace for Impact for... Uh... Oh, come on, turn around. Slide. Do the electric slide. Oh, we're going to get to use the Alliance uh, Lance again. It's a really, really cool... Um, console. I really, really like that Alliance Lance. It's really, really fun. I might do a um, anti-proton build video at some point. I have a lot of other videos to make in the meantime, but uh, Alright, getting this thing down here. About ready to finish and done. Okay, that was a pretty solid run, I think. We had a pretty beefy group in here. We got a Juggernaut and a legendary cross field and all kinds of stuff so let's go ahead and take a look at the parse holy crap um are you guys seeing this 80k 80k wow top billing i'm gonna need a second to get over this we had a 43.8% crit chance, which is actually probably higher, because we did get fleet support. Wow. And we took in 30%, almost 32% of the damage. So we took in the most attacks, we took in the most damage, we did the most damage. That's crazy. 16 million damage we did. We're blue. So you can see that the green guy here, Dark's Fall, had a huge spike at the beginning, probably the science person. And then they dropped a lot because all their stuff was on cooldown. That would, so that's what happens to me. You know, you're doing a science build, you pop all your stuff on that first group, your grav wells, all that stuff. 
then you get over to the transformer and it's all on cooldown <laughs> you don't have anything you know uh, and then it came back up again clearly for the second transformer and then they were just out of gas for the rest of it that's kind of what it looks like to me whereas we just rocketed up there and stayed pretty strong the whole time but let's go ahead and filter us out here so we can get a better look um yeah looking looking really good uh let's take a look at the chart here beautiful spikes there that spike looks like it's a uh, 350k at least quite a few that were nearing 300 very very nice stuff there had a little gap here but whatever uh, I accidentally put the deuterium surplus on the uh, spacebar spam bar and it, instead of putting it where it's supposed to go so I, that's why it was off cooldown when I needed it we probably actually could have squeezed a little bit more DPS out of that if I hadn't screwed up my bar but let's um, go ahead and take a look at the individual player report Wow, wow, look at that. 26k from the Cannon Scatter Volley 3. Terran Task Force Cannon Scatter Volley uh, 2, not 3. Did 11k. Pets, 7k. This is it, guys. This is why fleet support is so damn good. Look at pets. Look at that. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. And uh, let's see here. What What is our real crit chance? Uh, it's about the same, I guess. Um, I guess that wasn't taken away too. What do we got here? 43.8. Yeah, that's about right. Um, maybe a few percent higher. Uh, got a couple of low 50s here. Um, let it go. Doesn't do a lot of DPS because it's only counting the cold damage. But you can't think about it that way. It's the damage you don't see because it's the real big thing about that ability is the damage resistance debuff. So it's enhancing the damage of your weapons, uh, and that's not something that's going to show up in the parse. But wow, holy crap, 80k! It is going to be. Can, have they fixed this yet? Can we upload? No, we still can't upload. They still haven't fixed it so that we could uh, upload the parses yet. But man, so if the um, if the upload was working, uh, we would be eligible for the 75k DPS channel. And I might actually um, try to contact someone offline and say, hey, listen, I broke a 75K on this character. Can you invite me into the chat group uh, on that character, even though it's not officially uploaded? But uh, we have video proof now. We just did it. So, yeah, incredible, incredible, incredible 80K. We're only 20K away. I have a feeling we're going to have a hard time topping this one in the future. Maybe we just got lucky. It was a super clean run. We executed well. And uh, yeah, so I think 100K, we're definitely, it's definitely going to happen. We're on our way and uh, feeling really good about this week. And uh, we will figure out how to make all the adjustments we need to make to our dilithium farming setup. And um, the march will go on. Life will go on. The series will go on. And we will hit 100K. I have no doubts about that so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video take care of yourselves goodbye for now